What's up guys, it's a new week here. Uh, we took some time off last week. I had a bit of a cold, still do a little bit. But uh, yeah, we got the frame back from Sandblast. We started, as you can see from the other videos, we started working on, uh, on getting this frame done. And I got frustrated real quick on, I should I should have left, I should have opened up those channels a little bit more. So things are pretty tight, but the tighter it is, the better because it's less warpage. Um, but yeah, we did, uh, as you see, we went and looked at another race car and on the weekend with my boy, we went up and checked out pretty much what we want to build. We want to build a streetable drag car, essentially, but we're not going to be racing it all the time. It's, it's going to be a family cruiser too, but it's going to be a lot of horsepower too. So we're going to get back on this thing and see what we can get done this week. I'm hoping we can get the center section boxed in. My tubing for the roll cage will be here fairly soon. Um, our diff, we got parts coming for the back end. We got the new body mounts. We got the end. I gotta go get the engine this week that we're putting in it to begin with. Uh, so that'll be fun. So we're gonna get back at it, get welding. We're gonna do some welding this week and uh, hopefully get this frame wrapped up. All right, so I think I got it figured out for the one side. Uh, I'll be able to figure out how much I got to cut on the other piece. So I'll be able to basically just transfer what I got cut on this side to the other piece opposite and it should fit. Well, close. Um, I've been having a lot of people ask what kind of uh, safety glasses I wear. These are safety styles. Um, I'm not sponsored by that. They sent me out these to try and I absolutely love them there. They've lasted the longest of any safety glasses I've had. I'm pretty hard on glasses. I throw them around and yeah, they've, they've been great. Um, I've shaded ones and then I got these two, but, uh, so yeah, I'll show you what I got. So I got this piece tacked in. That'll get pulled up a little bit. It's just sagging because of the clamps and this piece will go on much like that on there up to my line and then this open spot here I'll build a little plate that uh, fills that in it'll tie the two pieces together and I'm also going to put uh, like a another kind of landing pad I guess for another body mount there as well so um yeah it's coming together it's hard to record and do the work uh, i hate just putting you on to a tripod and and watching me do stuff but i i'm super grateful for everyone that's joining in on this uh this build and following along and once we get the engine stuff going and the, i think the roll cage stuff people will really enjoy what we're doing with that but uh we got a lot of work here so i'm gonna get back at it I'm gonna, I gotta run to town and get some weld through primer and stuff to seal some of this up before I put these on. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much it's, uh, I should be welding this out hopefully by the end of the day, the center section anyways. So yeah, hopefully. I got, so I got the, the driver's side, it's all done. The passenger side, I'll show you what I did here. Just, it just, gets a rough idea of what I need to do for this side. Everything should be pretty much the same. So hopefully, hopefully this works. Took my piece, I cut it to length, and then I took the driver's side piece, I flipped it upside down, basically just laid it on there, and that'll give me a rough idea, or a rough cut anyways, and then I can fine tune it from there. Okay, so we got both of these pieces fit up really good. Actually, this side went a lot 
easier than the other side. Um, so now I just got, I gotta wait for, so I can treat the inside of the frame. Okay, so we got our paint finally. Uh, we had to wait a couple days for it, but uh, so we have all of our pieces made for the frame. They all fit really nice. So I'm gonna get this frame all, uh, like the inside all painted up and then we can get welding. So we should be welding later on today. All right, so we used an epoxy primer on this. Um, and so we got the inside of the frame done. I'm gonna put a couple coats on it just to make sure it's sealed up good. Uh, pretty much everywhere that we will be covering will get done. And same with, uh, with these pieces, I'm gonna scuff them and do the inside of them. This side done as well. And so when I put my pieces on here, I am gonna put a weld through primer, cover everything with weld through primer as well. So realistically, this car isn't gonna see salt again. It's not gonna see winter driving. Uh, we'll see some rain though, obviously. So we're just, we're doing our best to cover our bases so that we don't get any, uh, any rot on it. Geez, I still sound kind of sick, but uh, yeah. So just waiting for this to tack up here and I'll put another couple coats on it maybe and uh, then we can get welding. So we got our weld through primer. Uh, I'm just gonna prime basically this lip and down there and then I'll prime the underneath as well. And uh, and then I'll and then I'll let that set up. I'll get that piece tacked on. Then I'll go to this piece. Uh, you got to take your time with this. Welding does warp things, right? So I will be I'll be adding a brace across in the center, just uh, just to hold so so the frame doesn't go like that. So I'll be adding that brace, and then I'll get everything tacked in and we'll check square for the, on the body mounts here and then we're gonna and then we're gonna start welding it up and we're only gonna weld maybe one to two inches at a time and we're gonna skip around so that it's always there's heat not in just one spot of the frame like we'll move it around so that it spreads it out so it's a great fit. We will have to use a little bit of heat here to kind of mold that piece, but it fits great. The underneath looks good too. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go around. We'll just tack everything in place. We'll move to the front. We'll get that piece tacked in and we'll go from there. So. For me, what I want to do with the car, it's really, like we're trying to build a car that'll be fun for taking the kids out, and my kids are horsepower mechanics, so, I mean, this is as much for them as it is for me, the amount of horsepower we're putting in this thing. Um, building a two-door you can buy these kits you can buy all of this everything I'm doing you can buy the reason I opted to do my own stuff was because one I'm a welder two I enjoy it three show you guys four well there's lots of reasons but uh cost I mean for me these two pieces they were 87 dollars a little bit of fitment and here I am welding it so um with them other kits they seem expensive but you're paying for someone else's R&D too right like they had to take the time to make everything fit perfect that costs money so and I'm taking my time with stuff, so. But I'm really happy with, with how this is starting to fit together. And I am gonna, before, yeah, before I go any further, I'm gonna put some jack stands under here. Just, uh, just to help. Okay, so I got this second piece, kind of packed in a couple spots. Um, it's, this is definitely a delicate process. Like it, it's not just slap things on and go. It's take your time and work on it.
So this joint here, I'll, uh, what I'll be doing is I'll grind this, this out, the seam out, so that uh, we do get a good weld on it. And then there's gonna be a piece that comes in right here and ties these two pieces together anyways. And then there's also gonna be another bracket that comes off here for our uh, other body mount. So there's, there's a bit of work here. <laughs> uh, I mean, once it's packed in, it's just sit here for a couple hours and weld the thing out, so. Um, I did put, uh, put some stands under there. Uh, I opted to use, they're like trailer stands and you can adjust them and it, it's good. So, I mean, it stiffened it up enough and I got it all leveled out and so we're good. So yeah, we're gonna keep going on this and I guess, yeah, once I get, get both sides tacked up, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so it's all tacked in. Got the pieces here cut as well and tacked in there, so. Um, yeah, get to do a whole bunch of welding over my head and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, probably gonna lose some hair. All right, we got the frame leveled out. We've leveled it from the front to the back. I was surprised the front with those tires on is sitting perfect. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna start welding this all out and I'm gonna put a couple braces in here just to hold things in place and really hope that because I don't have a frame table to clamp this thing down so I'm, I'm hoping we can do this without any issues. I love doing stuff like this, the welding, different things like this, but uh, yeah, like this is, we're fabricating, we're doing some stuff and you can do it too. So we got her all, it's all welded out now. So I'm gonna let it cool right down before I cut the bars off. We got her all cooled down here. Um, not the prettiest, but we're gonna make it look nice. I'm not too concerned about the top of it cause you ain't gonna see it, but I still do like things to look nice and there is a bunch of spatter. So. I am gonna cut these braces off now because I'm pretty much done in here for like the heavy welding. Everything I do kind of going forward doesn't need to be braced, but uh, I'm gonna grind this up and make it look pretty. looking pretty I re -weld, or I welded that because it wasn't welded but it's uh, and then same there there was there was a bunch of crap weld but it's it's really it's not as much work as I expected it to be and the cost is Essentially, like I, I saved a lot of money by doing this myself as opposed to buying a kit. But the kit will save you 
the time of having to figure all this stuff out. So it, it's a catch 22 of what you want to do, right? So, and actually, so how I had this braced when I welded this out, it was about 3 16ths of an inch out of square between the front and back body mounts in the center. And it's dead on now. So sometimes welding works for you, sometimes it don't, but it worked for me today. So that's good. I'm starting to get excited because this is really taking shape now. Like it, you look at your work and you're like, damn, I did that. Like, like we're doing it. And that, this, this is it guys. So excited. A lot of my research, a lot of my research is done on YouTube. Like if I don't know how to do something, I look on YouTube and it tells me. And because a lot of people have done this stuff, not with four doors, like mine but the two doors and the rear suspension front suspension is all the same so i should be able to find exactly where i gotta cut and all that stuff for the pack on youtube make my marks and cut it so that's kind of the plan so we'll see how this works out but thanks for tuning in guys uh that's the rear end that'll be for another video uh be sure to subscribe we're doing some cool stuff and once we start putting an engine in this thing and i mean it's not going to be a crazy engine to begin with because like i said we want to shake this thing down make sure everything that i'm doing to it is going to work so but i got something awesome in store for you guys so uh yeah so be sure to subscribe and uh we'll check you out on the next video